Hello everybody in the YouTube pipe smoking community. Uh, it's going to be a video on how to press tobacco. And uh, a lot of you have asked how I do it. So I'm going to show you. I'll give you the tools, the key essentials. Uh, it's very easy. And I'll let you know where you might be able to pick up one of these things. Alright, let's do it. Okay, here's the key essentials you're going to need. Starting with, I use two bowls and a spoon. This is what we're going to actually put the tobacco into the press with. We're going to measure out the tobacco in this, and when we actually put it into the press, we'll put it in this bowl so any uh, leftover tobacco is caught in here and not on the floor. Okay, I'm going to need a scale. You just use a USPS digital scale. Um, I take notes on everything, uh, make sure everything's calculated correctly. Um, this is the actual press. This is a 4 inch by 4 inch stainless steel piece of uh, square. And this is the actual top of the press. So this is where the C-clamp is going to go and push the tobacco down. And this will be the bottom of it, where the bottom of the C-clamp will hold. So what we'll do is we'll take uh, a little bit of this. This is parafilm, and uh, we'll coat both sides of this so the tobacco doesn't stick to the stainless steel uh, upon the press removal. And this is a large C-clamp. Um, I just picked this up at a local Ace Hardware. Um, I use scissors. For cutting the parafilm get it uh, exact and then today's tobacco what we're going to use is we're going to take Boswell's Northwoods and we're going to take uh, Strauss Sleepy Hollow and we're going to make a basically kind of like a crossover English um, a nice smooth English with a pumpkin sweetness flavor that's what we're hoping for so let's uh, start weighing everything out all right, let's start measuring some tobacco. All right, so our scale zeroed out. Bowl's reading 1.10. Let's take it to about two, right around there. Two. Okay. All right. So bowl was. We'll do bowl 1.1, and then uh, one is 2.0 and two. Hold on. Let's get this baby even. Two. We'll pick. A little more. There it goes. Two. All right. That's that's a lot of tobacco. All right. So there is. That was uh, Strauss Tobacco Sleepy Hollow. Oh. Okay. Let's do Boswell's Northwoods. Ooh, damn, that smells good. Shit. 2.0. 2.0. Alright. With a mess. Alright. Now let's mix. Alright, just gonna mix this up pretty good. Northwoods from Boswell's and Sleepy Hollow from Strauss Tobacconist. Should make a quite tasty science project I think the last one I did was uh, Frog Morton and Mississippi River I tell you what that was one of the best uh, tobaccos I've had I have one little cube left I'm gonna mix this really thoroughly 
Yeah, I don't want a one section that's too much. All right, I'll, uh, you don't need to sit here and watch me mix it, but I'm gonna mix it some more and we'll start loading her up. Okay, I've uh, gone, gone ahead and pre-cut four pieces of parafilm and I've cleaned the, uh, the side of the flat steel. What I'm gonna do is just lay these on like that. Okay, they don't really stay until there's weight on them. Alright, so this is going to keep the tobacco from sticking when we open the press up in two weeks. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, I've placed the bottom plate with the parafilm inside the bowl. And uh, we're ready to start feeding tobacco in. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to start filling. Once you get to the top, you gotta start pressing it down. But we should be able to get it all in there. All right, we'll come back when we're uh, getting it all in. All right, we've almost got this filled up. And I'll show you what I've been using. All right, so what I took was a small little cleaver mallet and I've been gently pressing it in and we are pretty much filled to the top now what I'll do is just kind of get some of the remnants that have dropped down in the bottom of the bowl go ahead and get those in there and I don't get them all I kind of purposely leave a little bit in the bottom because uh, what I'll do is I'll pack a bowl and I'll smoke the remnants so I get a really good before and after of the press. So, we'll just press it down. You can see how spongy it is. All right, that should be about good. And then what we'll do is, we'll put our parafilm in here like that. Then we're gonna drop the, drop the top on. And next is gonna be putting the clamp on. And I'll take this out and get that set up. Okay, so we've got the uh, C-clamp started. I've got everything centered, aligned, and uh, we'll go ahead and just slowly start twisting. Make sure it's even as it's pressing down. You may have to just kind of maneuver it a little bit. That's why you want to go slow. And uh, we're going to go put it in the vise and show you how it's a little bit easier, and that's where it's going to stay for the remaining two weeks. And every day we're going to take a turn or two. All right, so let's go out there. All right, we're going into the vise now. And I like this because it stays pretty stable on the table. Let's lock this sucker in there. All right, so now I gotta, you know, I can play around here and get this baby lined up. Check the bottom. Bottom is pretty damn even. We're just gonna start pressing. Now, that was around a pound of tobacco you saw fill up in this thing, and that big bowl is going to come out in this little small block. Now, one thing I'm going to do here soon is I'm going to cut this off, <clears throat> and I'm going to weld a nut on here. That way I can put a torque wrench on here, and then I can convert the torque into pressure and know exactly at the end of my 14 days how much pressure it took to compress this tobacco into a cake for me. So that, that's going to be my next mod to this. 
And if you see it, like, like right now, it's just a little bit off, so I can back it up and I can just tap it a little bit right there. That's where I want it, you know, because we got really tight clearances in here, so. What I'll do is I'll loosen it up a little bit more, kind of like, a, you know, tapping a hole. You don't ever want to just go all the way down in one shot. You want to back it up, let it, let it kind of spring out. It's looking good. Right now, we're about right here. We're about halfway. When we're done, we're going to be down about uh, a quarter. And look, when we started, we were flush with the top. So that's what we've got so far. And I could probably get another turn or two. I just don't like to go too much. I'd rather wait a day, let it kind of tighten up, and I get more of a movement. Okay, I'm going to back it off a little bit. I'm going to just kind of tap it over. And that's even. All right. So right now, we're going to let that sit for 24 hours. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll probably put a no, another revolution on it. And every day we'll just check it and see how much it's loosened. We'll, we'll torque it down a little bit. And normally after about the seventh day, uh, you don't really get any more turns on it. So, you know, I'll, I'll check it every day, about every 24 hours. And I may get an eighth of a turn or a quarter of a turn. But uh, that's it. That's how I'm compressing loose tobacco into a cake form. And... Uh, I'll put the uh, link in the bucket. Uh, Sarge Metamorphous made this press for me. I know he's got one available if you guys are interested. Uh, shoot him an email and uh, he might just make you one. Thanks for watching, everybody.